Hello creative tartanites and welcome back to Tis the Season to be Jolly Journaling. This is my version of December Daily. Now bear in mind that these videos are all aimed at beginners, so anybody who is a little bit more advanced, feel free to take some inspiration uh, and go with what you're used to. Uh, this is really showing the basics uh, to try and help those who feel a little bit intimidated by all the fancy techniques that are filled uh, in lots of amazing journals that are available to see online. Today's prompt is, have you been to a winter market? Now again, this is open to your interpretation. For example, I have been to a winter market, but I haven't been this year so far. So I might be considering journaling about past experiences, perhaps uh, picking out some of my favourite photographs uh, to uh, apply into this particular journal page. But today I'm going to really just show you the basics of how to set it up so you can do the rest. And I thought it would be fun today to do an envelope for this page. So I'm going to set this aside and I am going to show you this little contraption that I happen to have. Now this is an Enveloper Pro. It is by Crafters Companion. I happen to get it on Amazon. You don't have to have one of these, um, but these are quite fun, I have to say. And I'm going to do an envelope the size of an ATC. Now, an ATC card is two and a half by three and a half inches. This is an ATC card. It is an artist trading card. As I said, it's two and a half by three and a half inches. And if you want to see how I painted this, there will be a link up in the corner up there. So it's going to be small, the envelope is going to be small enough to fit one of these. Now, I have two um, six by six inches um, double sided uh, paper, which is almost as thick as cardstock. Uh, and to be honest, I can't really make up my mind which one to use. So I am going to do uh, two different envelopes, one using this and one not using this. And I will show you how. So this comes with a sheet like that. And it tells you all the different sizes that you require. And it gives you the, um, the letters correspond to the grooves to tell you which one to score down so you know where to fold it. So as I said we are doing the ATC envelope which is a small envelope. I'm going to do two of them uh, and it says that the paper size needs to be 12 centimetres by 12 centimetres and I need to use the lines A and A1. Now I have uh, one of these trimmers. You may not have a trimmer, all you need to do is use a ruler and measure your 12 uh, centimetres by 12 centimetres, draw a line and you can use your scissors or if you've got a ruler and uh, a knife, you can uh, score with a craft knife. But I'm going to, I'm going to use my board. So I've got one and I'm going to trim this one at the same time. And then I am going to get my board and it has a, a corner here. Uh, so that tells me where to place the paper. It does come with its own uh, little score tool, uh, but I've managed to misplace mine as usual. And so I'm going to start scoring the A. So on that corner and then on the opposite corner is the exact same one. So it's each of the opposite corners. And then to do the other size it requires 
the E1. And as I said, these are these are the measurements according to the instructions. I'm just going to use my bone folder to establish the folds better. So where I've scored is obviously allowing me to be able to um, fold these over. And then there's the bottom one there. Now once you've done that, um, there should be little small nicks that you can you can see. So you see where they cross on this edge and on the other edge as well. If you just get your scissors and you can just take those bits out. What this does is it just takes away some of the bulk when you're folding. So there you have it. You bring the two sides in and bring one up and then we can glue down the edge and that leaves us with this. Now this time, because it's a thicker um, paper and I don't need to worry about it going through, I'm just going to use my um, high tack glue. So I'm just going to use some of this glue. right along the edge and on this edge as well. Now the thing to remember about this is when you do glue it down, be careful if you've got the glue right at the very edge, which we have, um, because it could potentially glue the whole thing absolutely, oops, absolutely shut. So I'm just pressing on that, but then I'm going to make sure that it's away from the inside of the envelope. So you can see that's clear. Now I'm not going to glue this down for obvious reasons because I want to be able to get things in it once it's stuck in the journal. So that's how to make an envelope using the envelope tool. So five centimeters down. Okay, I can do that. Right, so. 
to to get a template this is going to be nine centimeters by seven centimeters and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the top and the bottom and we're going to be able we're going to find right along here we're going to come in five centimeters from either corner exactly so that's diagonally and it's one two three four five one two three four five So that needs to be even on both sides. So that's at the five centimeter mark here. And it needs to be the exact same on this side as it is on that side. So I'm going to check that. So that's seven centimeters that side and that is seven centimeters on that side so that is in the right space and we're going to mark that across and we know that the other one is seven centimeters by seven centimeters so we're going to that there and um, we're going to mark seven centimeters here and um, we are going to mark seven centimeters there and um, we're going to find Yeah, that's right. So it's there. To there. And that crosses the five centimetre mark that I've already placed. So that's your two parallel lines there. So once you've got that, you can then put your template running in the middle and you then check that you've got the same on either side so that's half a centimeter and that's almost half a centimeter So that's about right. And you mark that. Then you ensure that the lines are crossing over right to the edge on both sides. Now, for my Creative Tartanites in the Creative Tartanite tribe, I think what I will do is I will make a template and I will copy it. It won't be this because this is copyrighted. Um, I'll do it on a blank bit of paper um, and I will make it available for people who want it. So if you want the free template, then join the Creative Tartanite tribe. Then go on to cut out all these triangular bits on all four sides.
So then I'm going to, if you have a, a scoreboard of any kind, if you can, uh, if you've got, if you've got one of these, even if you don't have a score thing, um, what you can do is you can do that and use your bone folder and just run it down and that makes it easier to fold. Otherwise, just fold, fold it over as best you can where the line is. is a little bit tough just because it's it's not quite paper it's it's uh, feels like cardstock so there we go there's the the envelope So now that we've got our envelope, let's decide which side is going to be glued and I think I think we'll go with this side. So again, I'm just going to go with side and this one. There we have it. That is the other envelope. So that gives us two fancy envelopes. And as I said, they're the size of ATCs, so that will fit an ATC, like so. So you can stick in ATCs or whatever you want to in these envelopes. I think these are really cute. So how are we going to attach them to our journal? I think we'll do that. And I think in order to be able to close and keep closed, I think I might just put a little tuck spot on the envelopes. Now I'm going to use this to draw around. going to stick some glue
like so. And then I'm going to stick that down like so. Just making sure that it should tuck in and it does. So I'll leave that to, to dry and I will stick the other one down. So there we are, that lets us tuck them and keep them closed. To attach them to the journal I am going to use some Fabri-Tac glue uh, because I'm now attaching it to paper uh, that if I use the other glue it would show through on the other side. Now I'm not going to glue all the way round I am just gluing the three sides and that gives me another option if I want to I can tuck something in at the back there. So just the uh, Oops, the three sides. And then put the, the lid on. And then that way it gives me the option if I wanted to, to tuck things in here. Obviously they would have to be shorter, um, but I can tuck things in here as well, as use the envelopes. So there you have it. That is my next page. I hope you have enjoyed this little beginner's tutorial and if you want the template to do these uh, envelopes then come join me at my Creative Tartanite tribe on Facebook. I will leave a link in the description below. So take care of yourself and look after your mental well-being. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye for now!